I wouldn't usually mention those cheeky picks, but when it is Knight, someone who can play just about anything, it's worth a mention in it's so easy looking at top esports comp what they want to do, right? It's all about They're splitting the map, but towards the same side. That's actually really confusing. Of course 369 can just follow up so easily. He knows. Chad, of course he, he knows. knows. Okay, Spite's going to come through. The body bop on top of Kanavi. Knight's getting poked out. Meanwhile, though, the mid lane is in the 1v1. It's going to be winning out by Yagao. But 369 comes in to help Kanavi in a 1v2 until Zoom comes in behind. Castor getting low on top. They spin to win, and Zoom picks up first blood here of game three. While Knight comes in epically low. The flash forward is not the way to go. Now we see it all the time, but yeah. Azir will have push on Corky in these early levels. And there's Kanavi going for these invades. I mean, the jungle one versus one. Peekaboo yet again. Castle going to get the smite on down here on the big wolf, but he's getting low. Remember, press the attack. Trundle likes Ooh. to take a big chop. In comes Yagawa, but it's Kanavi. This kills the second blood. And Kanavi having so much confidence. His bot lane just reset. He doesn't care. He knows Yagawa's going to follow up. This is not the only trade. Dominus going to come through. 369 is only level five here. He's weak. His arms are like spaghetti. And zoom the croc. Almost gets a solo kill. Like Kanavi with the second. And this trundle is okay. I'm gonna pause again. Grab it on bottom lane. Loom out. Gets healed on up one auto, but Jackie Love Ooh. gets flashed on by big boy Loken. Chocho now left in a one versus two. And Loom out may be a Yumi. But if Which, if you're TS, you do feel fine with this situation. You're gonna get the dragon, you're gonna start making your way towards that soul. And again, you enough matter to send the wall out, but Loom out now jumping between targets as you can see the turret trade here. Top Esports not going to get first turret in the bottom side, but they are giving gold over to Jackie Love and Cho Cho to put them back in a favorable position while first turret. For Jade power spikes right now to force this dragon. And again, they're left in a situation where Top get it for free. And you get the extra stats that are going to mean more and more towards the late game. Sure, it's only 4%, but an Infernal's an Infernal, yeah, and they're going to loom out while Herald. They're going to commit now. Yep, uh, they're doomed. Okay, doomed. I like the word. Glacial Fish is going to come out. Logan flashes away here. Two men on the explosive cast. Kind of whiffed there. He comes in with a body slam, though, to redeem. Kasa, is he dead? Yes, he is. As in comes Zoom yet again with the Dominus. But versus five, kind of a bit inty there. Top Esports group up, complete their transaction, and take the turret alongside with it. And JDG are the ones who commit to taking the Rift Herald. They should know that TS have full control of the bot side. Still going to pick up two turrets. But makes you question, why did Zoom have to TP in this game just accept the... A great pillar placement. But slowed on down by the barrel roll. Loken going to be sitting in this bottom side meanwhile, though. So that is a better trade for JDG, getting this in a turret. Yeah, I mean, now it's TS, the ones left behind. JDG doing such a good job at controlling two objectives. Right. And Crucial. Doesn't land, though. JDG stuck the dragon. Top Esports, there you go. Bit of patience for it. Yep, they weren't able to get any sort of setup, weren't able to lay down some kind of crazy stream of shuffle. 369 definitely needs to make his way in there. That's what I know. The poke comes through onto Loken and Zoom, and that's quite a bit. Dragon resets over to 3k. Remember, this will set up Salt Point for Top Esports, and they're just hitting it away. Caster there. Explosive cast onto Kanavi, and they can't find 369. The Yumi to get the slow down, but that is now Soul coming up next. Invade TS's jungle and make them think, hey, we're doing Baron. We have a 0 plus 80 carry. Come into us. But again, if TS just say, hey, we're not going to walk in your jungle, we're going to wait for the next dragon, Ooh, realistically, oh. what could JDG do? Sir, if, if something happens with the solo kill, which is going to be denied by the teleport on the opposite side of Summoner's Rift. Now looking towards Kanavi, remember, no solo lanes are here. TP going to be used by the side of 369. Kanavi getting low. Subscate helps. Jojo flashing Ooh. away with the door. He does go down as 369. Can't execute as well. This is turned around against Top Beastports. Caster locked in a corner on the wrong side of Summoner's Rift. And that guy's just had his last call. Kick him out of the bar. The slow comes in with Loken about to serve the toxic drink. And Kasa has nowhere to go. He tries to outplay that one. But JDG just send it right against them. Finding exactly what might up for the side of TS. I will say, though, Moonlight Vigil, Infernum. Knight has package. JDG, it's a numbers advantage, but top esports, individual players. But the ult misses from Jackie Love. The pillar Ooh, comes through. Knight. Knight comes in, lines it up, and kills Zoom. Jackie Love with Severum has a bit of healing. Kanavi slowed by the package again. Every single time I cast this champion, he pops off. What is 
happening right now. Oh my god, Jackie Love and Knight showing up so clutch. And this is what finals are built on. They're not built on who's the smarter team. They're built on clutch star performances. Just like he did in Invictus Gaming. And just like Knight's been doing. Pushing the mid lane was pushing. They're doing such a great job of utilizing the whole map. They're going to be able to push this in. And Carso or any member of TS can just go look to take Dragon for free if they so want. But you're right, when you have this minion wave, why look for Dragon when you can just siege Whoa. down this turret? And especially when you keep saying the words poke comp, I now see it locked on down is your gal. And gone is your gal. Top eSports are running in. And with a death timer like that and a four versus five, I don't know what's next. What's next is they just keep going. They have the poke, they have the siege, they have the Baron minions. Why stop now? Bullet time's gonna come through. Interrupted gets half of them anyway, but locked on down. A failure starts at the end. Kanavi locked as well, and Knight kills him. Top beast wants they go. It's Brain versus Brawn, and the Brawn says, "Sit down, kids. Back to the library." Logan at the Nexus, Thrall of the Fountain will die, and Top Beast wants take us to match point. And that was absolutely insane coming out from TS. Jackie Love and Knight, what are you doing? That was just disgusting to see, but great play pulling it in their favor. I apologize to everyone who uses libraries, but at this point, forcing that through Baron, the bottom wave as well. We said when JDG...